Hello comrades, Sobrio here and today we're gonna be talking about the Prometheus Lens in Destiny 2. So what is the Prometheus Lens? Apart from Bungie showing how much attention they paid in classics classes, well the lens is a trace rifle and so far only the second to be released in Destiny 2, the first being the exotic Coldheart. Trace rifles are powerful rifles capable of firing singular concentrated energy beams that can be focused down upon multiple targets at once. The Prometheus Lens generates a field of intense heat the longer it is fired and kills return a fraction of ammo spent. Furthermore, the gun has a 1000 RPM. For the default perks, the barrel has a chambered compensator which increases stability, moderately controls recoil and slightly decreases the handling speed. It has a project fuse that increases range and flame refraction, meaning that kills with this weapon return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine, extending the beam's duration, and finally a composite stock that slightly increases stability and the handling speed. For the unfamiliar, this means that this gun is OP as anything and at the time of writing, Xur was selling it, which means that everyone is using it in Crucible, including us. Just look at this majestic montage. As you can guess, the online community is not exactly happy with the OP gun as it is and Bungie seems to be taking a meh attitude to it all. They have said they're patching the red line nightmare next week and wanted everyone to have fun in the meantime. Tweeting on December 8th, did you make a bet that we wouldn't let Xur sell Prometheus Lens? It's available in the EDZ, your move. Now, in defense of Bungie, and I cannot believe I'm saying this, but fair play to them. As opposed to making a standard week of changes in their grinding MMO, they've actually done something that has dramatically changed the game and made it interesting this weekend. As opposed to the normal boring crucible, the Prometheus Lens has changed it for a funner experience. Instead of staring at your radar for the odd red dot of an enemy's position, now it's just looking for the red lights and flank. Gamers will complain because, well, that's that's what we do, but this pattern in the world has actually made the game feel more alive and developing and expansive than the Curse of Osiris DLC. I look forward to more Bungie mistakes that get capitalized in the future, but the big news around all of this is that we're all waiting with bated breath for Reddit user John Senses who posted, If Xur sells Prometheus Lens tomorrow, I will shave my head and glue the hair to my face as a beard. They could have been a hero, but instead have remarked, I considered it and have decided that this shit game doesn't deserve any amount of sacrifice from me. So it looks like they won't be taking place in the Trails of the Nine Laser Show that's going to be taking place this weekend. And again, good on you Bungie, you actually embraced a bug and turned it into an event in your MMO. The game is a living and evolving organism. I'm not saying that this event is like the death of Lord British, but it is close. But once the patch drops, it will be gone. Goodbye my lover, goodbye my friend. You have been the one, you have been the one for me. So thanks a lot for watching this video guys and please make sure to head over to alcar.com for much more content like this. This is Sobriel and see you in the next video.